Hello, I'm Dan, and I'm going to do some reacting to things once again. And today I found an article asking, asking 23 questions I still have about Nickelodeon shows as an adult. Now, I had quite a lot of fun with uh, Nickelodeon shows when I was younger. And uh, let's dive into some. Maybe I'll be able to answer a couple. So firstly... How did Tori bag the lead role in every production of Hollywood Arts and Victorious? Rigged? I don't know. I mean, the Playdate one was a random choice. And they could have made Jade the lead in that one. Two. How did Spencer get the ostrich all the way to the apartment without anyone asking? I mean, you would ask, wouldn't you? Was Drake and Josh a reality show within the iCarly Victorious universe? I think they were trying to hint at that, maybe. I would have believed that. How did no one notice Kat had been living in the school's attic? Well, Robbie dropped a subtle hint towards the beginning of that episode. Who knows? How did they get Snoop Dogg to guest star in the Big Time Rush Christmas special? Probably the same way they got Jim Parsons to star to guest star in iCarly. I don't know. I mean, they must have had some good money behind them. Why was Carly in charge of nursing Harry Styles? Yeah, that wasn't a smart idea. Why wasn't Ariana Grande allowed to wear a wig on Victorious instead of being forced to permanently damage her hair by constantly dyeing it? It would have made more sense. I mean, you wouldn't have thought that was her natural hair, would you? Why was How to Rock cancelled after only one season? Come on, that series was cool. It's almost criminal that it got cancelled. There was an entire episode of Victorious dedicated to how Trina got into Hollywood Arts, but how did she stay enrolled? Your guess is as good as mine. I wish we'd known how the other members of the Victorious gang got into the school. Why was Freddie's overprotective mum let Why did Freddie's overprotective mum let him keep hanging out with Sam, who always bullied him. Uh, Who knows? Was Cat's Bibble made from the addictive cactus juice from Zoe 101? I didn't even know cactuses had juice in them. Who knows? Why was Amanda so jealous of True when they literally worked in different divisions? You'd be jealous if someone was working in a different apartment to you and you wanted their job. How did any of the faculty at Hollywood Arts keep their jobs? Well, they didn't all actually because uh, Principal Eichner left and left Helen from Drake and Josh in charge. Why did Robbie carry that puppet around school? I really wish they had an episode addressing that. That would have been fun. How did Megan get a hold of the Peruvian puff peppers? I don't remember that episode. Who knows? Why didn't Tori just do the project earlier instead of waiting until she was on the plane? Would have made more sense, but then there'd be no episode. Oh, this is a really good book, by the way. It's part of an ongoing saga. It's called Oversea Understone by Susan Cooper. Why did Carlos always wear the hockey helmet? Who knows? I mean, 
Sinjin always kept chewed up food on his locker. Why didn't Tori post that she needed someone to bring her money to Nozu instead of vague posting about her and Robbie being forced to pay off the bill? Well, it would have helped. But she still would have owed that person some money. How late was the mad style office open if Chu and Lula were working around school hours? Must have been a weekend job. Or after school job. Why did Victorious force a love story between Tori and Beck when they could have given us a friends to lovers romance for the ages of Tori and Andre? Come on, do you seriously think Tori and Beck would have been good? If you're asking me, any... I mean, that would have been alright. And they also say Tori and Andre should have been endgame. And that's true, for some part. Although, if there was one couple I really wish it happened, it would have been Jade and Andre. I will hear nothing else. Why did... Kendall and Joe have to break up in order to, for her to film a movie in New Zealand. Well, long distance relationships don't have good track records. Why wasn't Beck given more opportunities to sing? Come on. He must have had a brilliant voice. I mean, I mean... His small singing bit in the Zombieland movie wasn't much to go by, but he didn't sing much in Victorious, and we really needed that. And finally, why didn't Victorious get a proper finale? I mean, obviously, Victorious was their biggest show. Ah. <sighs> I do wish you could have had at least another season more. I mean, there's another article say, saying the same thing. Like, wish it had another series. Saying the same for Recess. And as told by Ginger, Kim Possible, Lilo and Stitch, Teen Titans, Drake and Josh, Zoe 101. And... Victorious at the very end. <sighs> yep, yeah, so that's my thoughts on those questions. Not as answerable as they looked, really. I think, well, some of them certainly weren't. Well, thanks for watching. I'm enjoying doing these reacting to, to videos and articles. Take care now. I'll see you all very soon.